What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got the top DMFs, the best box to box and destroyer playstyle in DMF, right? I'm going to be doing a video between the difference uh, between these guys and an anchorman and I also have a standalone video coming for anchorman as well. But basically with a box to box or a destroyer, it's kind of doing exactly as it says on the tin, especially for a DMF. I think it's equally as important if you are playing certain formations, like a one uh, DMF is better with an anchorman. But with a box to box or a destroyer such as Declan Rice here, it's all about getting into the passing lane, blocking everything, just being a nuisance defensively and being kind of like a third centre back. That is kind of how I would put it, while also being able to get forward. Obviously with an anchorman, we'll go into the differences in that playstyle with examples. But for now, we're going to head on here because you can see here the definition of the player's playstyles. Box to box and destroyer, they're kind of similar, right? A player who tirelessly covers every blade of grass for the full 90 minutes. And there's a lot of different compatible positions with this, including DMF. The destroyer is a tenacious battler who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing. Compat compatible positions, CMF, DMF. So if you're struggling to get the grips in midfield, lads, even though the game bypasses midfield a lot in terms of playing possession and in terms of passing the ball, and it's easy to pass through midfield, you will find that if you set up your team right, and if you have a destroyer or a box-to-box -box in a DMF role, they will naturally play to that role when you're not controlling them, right? So I do have a video coming on manual defending versus auto defending with V2.4. A lot of these guys that we're about to see kicking us off in a second are going to be taking the new V2.4 gameplay into consideration. So starting off, we do have our budget option, which is Carlos Arke. This guy is playing as a DMF. He's a destroyer. He only is 68 overall, but he's less than 5,000 GP. So if you are starting off and you've got a couple of trainer points and you're looking to train somebody up and just to kind of get to grips, he's got blocker and interception as a player skill uh, with both of those, but he's also got one touch pass. So listen, when you are looking to have a player like this that's going to be involved in a lot of the breakdown of play, whether defensively or attacking, you need to have kind of an all-rounder and he is a really good budget option for that and he's on a form this week. Next up, we have got PSG's Danilo Pereira, Pereira the Portuguese man. Um... He's again a bit of a, a bit of a, a beast in the middle of the pitch. He is a destroyer as well as a DMF. Interception and blocker, they're kind of standard for a DMF player unless you are playing just three CMFs and not a DMF. You do need to have blocker and interception. Now what we're going to be doing with this card is because he is set as a destroyer, all you're going to be doing is kind of having him as a third center back, right? He's not going to be sitting as deep as an anchorman because he still needs to be able to get forward with the ball. But that is how I would train him up. You can pause this if you want a training guide. Next up, we have the cover star here on the thumbnail, Parte. There's no Parte without Thomas Parte, lads. And this guy has been bossing it in the Premier League this season. Now, he's down as a box-to-box. -box, but if you have a look at his player skills, one of the big reasons that he's down as a box-to-box -box and one of the big kind of balancing things is he doesn't have blocker, right? A lot of the blockers are usually the destroyers or the anchormen. Uh, obviously, as centre backs are uh, CBs, right? Centre backs are DMFs, such as Declan Rice, obviously, is a destroyer, but then you've got Rodri as an anchorman, or so on and so forth. So, again, we're just going to be highlighting his up and down the pitch action. Same with this guy, Sangare. This guy is an absolute monster, a bit of a hidden gem. I featured him before in one of my videos for eFootball 2022. Look at all the player skills he has. He doesn't have blocker, um, which is a little bit of a pity, but he does have one touch passing. So that kind of feeds into how you should be training these guys really defensively. Look at his stats, man. Goes up to plus 90 in every defense stat, right? Speed and acceleration are not going to be too vital for this player um, because you're just going to be using him as a kind of a stopper like you know as a last line of defense before you get hit on the counter with your CBs open. Next up we've got the, the Leicester Destroyer DMF Ndidi. This guy again is very kind of like I would say kind of like Kante. Um, Kante is obviously probably one of the most underrated players in the game because of his form. He's been injured all season so he doesn't have any live update. But if you are looking to have somebody on the bench, this guy is fairly decent, 70,000 GP. He's got interception, man marking. I would like to kind of see a lot more uh, players using this guy because of his aggression, man. 99 aggression. He's going to defend for you. Absolutely insane defensive stats while he still has pretty solid speed and stamina, which is good. Next up, we've got Chuamene. This guy, I mean, I can't, I can't speak highly enough about the Real Madrid star lads. He's unbelievable in the game. You've got interception, you've got sliding tackle. He is down as a box-to-box, -box, 
but he can actually play CMF as well. But we are kind of reviewing these players as their register position in game, right? So this guy, when I train him up, there's multiple ways of training him up. Some would say that it's kind of a disservice to train up his defense this much because you are neglecting, you know, what makes him absolute beastly in the middle of the pitch. But I think if you have him here with the natural attacking ability of 71 offensive awareness and train up the defensive, you're going to have a monster. Declan Rice, one of my favorite players in the game. The nominating contract Declan Rice that they had was a monster and is a monster. Obviously, you can see here that where we're going to be training up this guy is mostly going to be his defensive and dribbling skills, right? He does have every player skill that you could possibly want as a destroyer, except blocker, which does make him a little bit more balanced than he probably should be. But again, you've got the defense stats 90, 93, 95, and 96 with 76 speed and 92 stamina unbelievable he is 170,000 GP if you don't have the nominating contract and then last but not least we have Kante I feel Kante lads has been probably given the roughest draw this year because of his rating and because of his form right look at the stats that he has right he has one touch passing true passing interception fighting spirit double touch unbelievable for a DMF box to box this is how we trained him up 93 97 97 and 97 for his defensive stats with 80 speed 80 acceleration 88 balance and 90 stamina and 80 tight possession so i definitely think we will see a lot more people using kante before v2.4 kante was kind of one that was like yeah he's a little bit too small because of the aerial battles in midfield from crosses and corners and stuff but now midfield is all about making it a mosh pit and making it as awkward as possible for your opponent to string a couple of one touch passes together so i definitely think kante is an absolute monster we will be back quite soon lads with the anchorman dmfs there's a big difference between their play style and the destroyers and box to boxes we put together here but that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the series. Don't forget to check out the rest of this playlist for every position for V2.4. I'll talk to you in a bit.